Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. This is, I would say, a very exciting day for this parish because after 11 weeks of 11 weekends of not having the Eucharist available, this is the first time that we'll be able to offer Jesus in this wonderful sacrament after Mass. So please join us in the Pentecost Mass where we celebrate the birthday of the church. And following that at 5 o'clock until 6.30, please come and receive Jesus in a short communion service and let him be a part of your life once again. If you don't make it this evening, tomorrow from 9 to 11, we will also be having communion services as well. Creator Spirit, I will say, the world's foundations first were laid. Alleluia, alleluia. Give us thyself that we may see the Father and the Son by thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the love of Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. This truly is an exciting weekend when we come to celebrate Pentecost. For it is the day in which we become church. We become truly connected to one another. All that we do, and even the liturgy, is needed to have all of us here, a congregation and the priest, gathered around the life of Jesus and his word, desiring to receive Holy Communion, so that when we go out to the world, we truly may be Christ expressed in every situation of our lives. So as we gather, let us call to mind our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Take away the 
the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church and every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more, the hearts of believers, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking, Galileans? Then, how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya, near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet, we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. God. Oh. 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Jesus Christ. Today is a special day in the Catholic Church. It marks the official end of the Easter season, and it's marked by the great time known as Pentecost, which celebrates the moment that Jesus' disciples received the Holy Spirit. In today's first reading from the Acts of the Apostles, the followers of Jesus, including the 12 apostles and some female disciples, including Jesus' mother Mary, were all assembled in one place when a sudden noise described like a strong wind filled the entire house in which they were. The noise was followed by tongues of fire symbolizing the presence of God. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and were all able to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to speak. When I was a young boy, My parents would occasionally speak in different tongues, specifically in Bohemian. So my brother and I had no idea what they were saying. I really cannot remember any phrases or words anymore, but one word does stick out in my mind. Nectobate, which I believe means just forget it or it's not important now. My parents used to say that quite a bit. I'm not sure if that was a good thing or if it meant we'll come back to this later. While I was never able to pick up on any Bohemian and certainly was never clued in on what my folks thought was so important that they could not discuss it in English in front of my brother and me, the message the wind and the fire were portraying in today's first reading was definitely important. So important that the devout Jews from every nation who happened to be in Jerusalem, Acts tells us there was a group of about 120 persons, could all hear one another in their native tongue and language. And everyone was hearing about the mighty acts of God. This was all so important and necessary as God's message was destined for the worldwide mission of the church Spreading the good news of Jesus' resurrection was meant for everyone. And while this task would be the primary role of Jesus' disciples and followers, it would not be an easy job. There would be doubters often. There actually were doubters among the witnesses to the wind and the fire. 
If we read just two more verses from where our first reading ends today, we hear that the scoffer said, they have had too much new wine. But these unbelievers were met by strong resistance from Peter, who assured the witnesses that the disciples were not drunk. Peter promoted Jesus and his resurrection, told the people to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of their sins, and promised that they too will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit wants to make Jesus known to the world and to share how his saving power came about through his death and resurrection. Life in the Holy Spirit is the essence of our mission, the core of why we do what we do and how we live our lives. It is the reason why we feel so bad about not being able to receive Jesus in the Holy Eucharist for so many weeks and why we are so excited and happy that for some of us, we will be receiving him within an hour or two. It is the reason why we started the Feed My Starving Children as the Lenten season started, and why we feel so bad that we were not able to complete the project as planned. It is the reason why we pray for the sick, visit the shut-ins, and shelter the homeless. And it is also why we are patient with others and forgive those who have hurt us. Earlier this spring, I purchased a book written by Michael Gately entitled 33 Days to Morning Glory. It is a book meant to be read in 33 days and is a do-it-yourself retreat to prepare oneself for Marian consecration. In short... The purpose and mission of consecrating myself to Mary is to bring my soul into union with her divine son, Jesus. If you remember earlier, I said that several women, including Mary, were with the disciples and Jesus' other followers when the Holy Spirit descended upon them. I love to pray to Mary. For whatever I give, she gives back infinitely more. We give her our sinful self, and she gives us her immaculate heart. We give her our meager merits, and she purifies them with her perfect love. We become empty and tired after attempting to carry our burdens in life, and she fills us with the Spirit of God. She anticipates our needs and orders every detail of our lives for the greater glory of God. As our month-long devotion to Mary comes to a close at the end of May, let us recognize her connection to the Holy Spirit and remember to ask for her powerful intercession in our times of need. At this time, we will share a a blessing uh, for or over uh, the palm branches that were to be given out on Palm Sunday. And so we pray. Almighty, ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing, that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, 
God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Loving Lord Jesus, we ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon our intentions and our needs as we express our burdens to you. For the whole church and its leaders, that the light and guidance of your Holy Spirit, Lord, will give aid to Pope Francis and Bishop Ricken, and that the love we have celebrated as Christians in this Easter season be put into practice in our daily lives. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civil and political leaders, that they lead their governments with honesty, fairness, and integrity. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May God always come to our aid. May he make us rich in faith and send forth the Holy Spirit to watch over us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our graduates, that the wisdom and knowledge they obtain during their years of school will guide them in the next chapter of their lives. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the churches of the Green Bay Diocese and their members find safety, solace, and comfort in returning to church and mass in the coming weeks. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the remembrance of today's mass, my folks, Vic and Mary Kozlowski, and for all of the members of the Prince of Peace community, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions in our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Lord Jesus, as you send your spirit upon us, we ask you to renew our hearts and our lives. In the midst of the challenges of this world, may we be filled with hope and with a practical expression of your love in the situations that are a part of our lives. We ask our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, Jesus, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice, and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son, Jesus. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the true faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly hosts, with the angelic powers, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all of the priests and deacons. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Martyrs, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Thank you. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Blood of Christ. For those who may not be able to attend this evening's communion service or tomorrow's communion service, we will say the act of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. So, we're about 15 minutes away now from being able to offer Jesus to you as a parish. So if you decide that you're going to come, Please understand that we have taken every precaution possible to make sure that everybody stays as safe and as healthy as possible. Um, tomorrow, we will also be having the communion service from 9 to 11. And then after that, at noon, we will ring bells. Well, first of all, Father will be hearing confessions at 11. So hopefully he's not all by himself for an hour. But uh, we will have confessions from 11 to noon. We'll ring the bells from noon until 1210. And then after that, we will have a praying of the rosary to honor our mother Mary in the parking lot. We have uh, an entire chalked out rosary in the parking lot. So please come with your family and celebrate our mother, the month of Mary. Celebrate your parish family and uh, please just enjoy the time that we have together. Tomorrow is supposed to be a great day. And may we pray today for our two vocation directors. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And may we have vocation to priesthood, religious life, and diaconate from Prince of Peace Parish. We pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The, and let us pray the prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our bishop, and our priests. May they follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the Church. With Mary, you raise Jesus, the high priest. You know our needs for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good St. Joseph, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Jesus. 